sun lately and the weather is getting warmer and that means it's time to get outside and explore everything New York City has to offer. Time out New York's things to do editor Rosalind Colgan joins us now with a few activities to check out. So good to see you again. Glad to be here. Glad it's warm oh, finally. No. <laughs> and I'm excited about your first thing because it's for outdoors and movie lovers. Yes. So there are a ton of free outdoor moving sc movie screenings during the summer but I want to tell you one of my favorites. It's a little bit obscure. It's the Films on the Green Festival. Mm. So this is actually a French film festival but don't worry, even if you don't know the language, <laughs> I don't, and I still really enjoy going every summer. All of the movies are subtitled in English, so you'll be able to catch up. So this year, because of the Paris Olympics, they are focusing on sports-related uh, sports related films. So they're both classic and contemporary films, again, all in French, but really kind of celebrating the idea of the Olympics uh, coming back this year. And these are throughout the city um, all summer long, so you can find a park that's near you, look at their schedule online, grab your blanket, grab some snacks, and go out and enjoy. That's such a good idea. All right, where could people check out live music? So mm -hmm. many people love that. Yes, and this is one of my favorite venues. So if you haven't been to a concert at the rooftop at Pier 17, make this your year. They have 60 concerts that are coming wow. to the rooftop this summer in all genres. So if you're interested in rap or pop or punk or folk, there is a concert for you. And in addition to the great lineup, they also have a really fun venue. So it's again on a rooftop. So you'll get to see the Brooklyn Bridge. You'll get to see the Statue of Liberty, mm. the Empire State Building as you're enjoying a concert. Plus they have great concessions. You can enjoy some food and drinks while you watch a show. And then you're in the seaport. So after the show, if you want to get another drink or something to eat, there's lots of good options. Lots of good stuff to do in that event. Okay, yes, let's talk about sure. New York's outdoor art scene mm -hmm. and how it's perfect outdoor activity. Yeah, so I love in the summer to sort of do a DIY art crawl and go check out all of the public art in the city. So most of it is free, but there is one I want to shout out that is uh, a ticketed. This is at the Met. It's the Roof Garden Commission. And this year they took kind of the scribbles of children, um, the universal scribbles, even children facing war, mm. and turned those into sculptures. So you definitely want to see that. And then as for a couple of free ones, Brooklyn Bridge Park has a great um, sort of sculpture exhibit. And then don't miss Times Square. They have a giant hot dog sculpture, which I know may sound a little <laughs> frivolous. It even um, shoots confetti each day. Oh my gosh. But it also has a deeper meaning. It's looking at capitalism, the politics of street vending, and meat consumption. So this hot dog has a lot to say. Yeah. All right, let's talk <laughs> night markets. They're so popular. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of feel like night markets are our gift mm -hmm. for enduring the cold, gray winter weather. We have night markets back. We can go out and enjoy the weather and some great food. So there are six night markets markets popping up across the city this year in the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. And then I also want to shout out two in particular, the Vegan Night Market and the Latin Night Market, mm. both of which are back for their second year. So those are kind of newer ones to the scene. Definitely worth checking out. So grab some cash, get some friends, and go out and eat local. Eat some vegan food. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can try something new, maybe. Rosalind, thank you so much for being here. Thank really you. Appreciate Enjoy the it. summer. Thank